Good evening guys, just out in my shed tonight working on a little project and that is making some modifications to my crosscut saw sharpening jig. This is a simple jig I made for sharpening my saw. Right now it's out at my winter camp and probably in about a month or two I'll be bringing it home to sharpen. And after using this jig a couple times I realized that it could use some improvement. Uh, the blade sits in between these two pieces of 2x4 and when you're using your file to sharpen uh, this edge here is kind of in the way so I'm going to one of the things I'm going to do is taper this edge and this normally you open up your your vise the jig gets held into your vise like that and your teeth are all sticking up here the biggest problem with that is you're kind of in an awkward position trying to hold your file sharpening this way and I want to be able to have it so I can adjust this, you know, put an angle on it so I can tilt it this way or this way. You know, this is uh, not your typical sharpening jig. You got to remember I have a very limited amount of space in my shed and I gotta watch how big and bulky I make this thing so this here is my design kinda have a plan in place and I'm gonna get to work this here was just a little handle I made for carrying it I'll probably put that back on afterwards this is where I'm at I have a little wing nut here to tighten this I have a rod going right through into that jig that I had earlier and what you do is you put your saw with the teeth sticking up in here put this other piece on and then you turn up these tabs to 
to lock everything into place. And you can just tilt it back and forth to work on it and use this wing nut to make it nice and tight. This uh, threaded rod that goes through here, it's still, you know, the glue is still wet. But once everything's dry, once you tighten this, this nut, it's going to be rock solid. Good morning. I'm just continuing on from last night. I got a little bit too late and we got hit with a real powerful blizzard. So I had to call it a night. I'm pretty much done this jig. I put this leather strap back on. This is for hanging it. This joint right here was originally supposed to be a 90 degree lap joint, but I screwed it up. And I had to cut it off because I just this is the only piece of wood I have long enough. So I put this kind of joint in with pocket screws going in, glued it. Still wasn't strong enough for when you tighten down this uh, threaded rod here. So I put in a couple of straps on this side and on this side as well. That should make it strong enough. I put my leather handle back on. This is for carrying it. I have my leather working tools here. And what I'm going to do is make a leather pouch, very simple, rustic style leather pouch for my cross cut tools. I have a straight edge kerf gauge that I made, a leaf feeler gauge, and two tapered triangular files. I still need to make a raker gauge yet. Just got to find the right material. So my leather tool pouch is all complete. Still not 100% sure about closing it. Probably come up with something better than that. But these snaps are on the back. I think this saw jig is complete. I just want to show you one more time how it's used. There's two metal tabs that fold down. This piece comes off. Your saw goes on here. There's a wooden dowel that the front hole on the saw slides over. Put this piece back in and lock it in place with these tabs. I have a wing nut on the end that I can tighten and loosen to angle. Leather handle for hanging it, for carrying it, my tool pouch. I also put on a stain, homemade stain with made out of vinegar and steel wool. Give it that rustic look. So I think it's complete. Just got to, you know, go pick up my saw in a couple months. And I don't think I'll make a video on me sharpening my saw, I'm no expert. But I will put a link in the description or in the comments on a really good series I found on crosscut saws and sharpening them.